it's something I've never added to my regimen. I always said, oh, if I fought Floyd, or if I had to fight Spence, X, Y, and Z, should have done it for the Pacquiao, should have, would have, could have, didn't. Um, but yeah, man, so it's something in the back of my head. Um, I do need to stop playing with these boys and uh, give this sport my best, use all the knowledge. You know, I'm very methodical uh, in my approach to boxing, and I've been hesitating to do that one last step uh, but I think it's going to be, I think I'm going to stop waiting, you know, and um, probably do it for the next camp. No matter, no matter what happens, no matter who, uh, who's next, but we got a big challenge right now. We were talking about the weight cut. We were talking about how I started off at 172. Um, and, you know, at the, at the end of the day, though, 172 to 155 is not the 25 pound drop that uh, it is for 147. So that's another reason why I signed this contract. There was a lot of yo-yoing. There was a lot of talk about possibly just fighting Stan Leonis in the Walter Waite division and other things going on. We talked about that a little bit on your podcast. And, uh, I got another you know, I, th this fight just sounded like a lot more fun. It sounded like a legitimate headliner. And then after I said yes, and everybody said, what? <laughs> it made me that much more excited. I said, man, definitely did what you're supposed to do, Thurman. Yeah. You know, you're shaking up the world of boxing, doing what I do best. You know, we've always competed at the highest level since we was kids. You know, I'm not worried about the haters, man. You know, um, I appreciate all my haters. So it is what it is, man. Haters are motivators, and that's that's part of the fuel uh, and up, upsetting the apple card. I'm an underdog, never been a big underdog in my career, even in the Pacquiao fight, you know, because I was young, I was undefeated. He was the older dog. He was the legend. They were questioning him. Now they're questioning me. Um, we were talking about being the smaller guy. I'm probably going to be the smaller guy. But Floyd was never a welterweight, and he stayed undefeated in the welterweight division, right? You know, Pacquiao was always the smaller guy, and he defeated a lot of bigger guys. Mm -hmm. So, um, like like the Mayweather's always said in the past, it's the skills that pays the bills, and I'm doing my best to bring my whole reservoir into the ring at the end of this month. Let's talk about the, the, the complacency that just comes with life, comes with being successful. Everybody knows that you've gotten married. Everybody knows that you've gotten kids, that you've had children. And congratulations. I know I, we, we talked, but I want to publicly congratulate you on, on everything that you've earned in life. But with all that success and being married and having children, all this, there's a lot of people that are counting you out because they feel like you've gotten complacent and you don't need boxing. Hold on real quick. I just want to talk to a little bit of the fans real quick, man. Pacquiao knocked me down. I got up with a smile, okay? Look at all the people Pacquiao knocked down. Nobody got up with a smile, okay? It was funny. It was funny, boy. I was winning the round. Rewatch round one. I was winning the round. It was, I, he capitalized in a moment. That's what veterans do. They choose the moment when to strike, okay? He capitalized in a moment, jumped into action, threw a really tricky combination, a little up, down, up, punch, bam. Caught me while I was moving backwards. It didn't even hurt, okay? I've had shots that I've been on my feet that hurt a lot more. That's why it's called a knockdown. Okay, that's just it's a gravitational force. Don't maybe get scientific on you peoples, okay? It is what it is, baby. It's boxing. I got up, I put up a, a great fight. And that man, I talked to his team afterwards. They had to talk to him and make him keep fighting. He was about to quit on the stool, people. Okay? Hey. That man wants to fight. He couldn't talk after the fight, hey. okay? So y'all need to understand boxing a little bit better, man. We, Do your research. We got Tim coming on to the – to sh he's – Tim just made a request. Is that is that what that is? Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna accept this. Tim Zoo just made a request to come onto the show. What up, Zoo? He, he interrupted. Oh, <laughs> there he is. All right. The man with the plan to knock me out. <laughs> That's exactly right. You know it, bruh. You know it. Uh, you I know, you, I didn't. Have, happy, I, didn't even, I didn't even have to say anything. You, 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 you said it for yourself. Yeah, I'm, I'm. Hey, I'm repeating your words. You know, you you said it like you said it timidly. I like you to say it with your chest. I would appreciate it if you said it with your chest. You know, at the press conference, you were a little timid, like a like a little boy. You were talking about Christmas presents and all this stuff. 
<laughs> but look, man, you're you're happy. This is, this is, I'm you happy, brother. Though. This is you. You got a big mouth. You like to talk too much. Baby, I like to I like to excite the people. Are you not? I like to, are you I, not happy I, when I, you got that contract? Am I not the biggest name you've been in the ring with? Stop playing with you're yourself. Biggest, you're the I'm biggest the realest. Man. You're not the, you're not the, the best best name. The game. You're not the, you're not the most talk. talented bloke I've ever fought. Because yeah, I yeah, walk. You, that's all you are. You're a talker. I only you're talk, talk, talk because I walk. You're a big I male. live this life. You were born into it. I was. I lived this life too since I was seven years old, baby. Hey, and this ain't nothing and new. I will show you why I was born into this life. Because I like to punch and I like to fight. That's what it is. It's going to be. That's the life Good, I was, that's the life I was brought into. Throw your yeah, best I will. shot. I will. I what will. you going to do, Zoo? What you going to do? I'm going to knock you shot. out in two. That's in what I'm going to do. In, <laughs> in two. two. <laughs> All right, baby. All right. I hope you don't get wobbled. I hope you don't just hey, you hey, do a hey, little hey, creepy dance. Ain't going to happen on my side, brother. No, it's all good, baby. Keith, have, have you ever good. had a fighter? It's all good on this side. Huh? Keith, have you ever had a fighter tell you they were going to knock you out? <sighs> well, you know, Danny didn't talk. He was a pretty good puncher. You know, uh, you you never said you was going to knock me out. Uh, so, 40 pounder. You know. Talking about 140 pounders, man. This is the big boy division, 154. There's a reason why there's 10 ounce gloves here and not eight ounce. Yeah. Yeah, you're bigger, right? But you're 22 and 0 with 17 knockouts. I was 22 and 0 with 20 knockouts, okay? 24. So you 24. Still, okay. 24 and 0. You're 24 and 0 with yeah. 17 knockouts. I was 24 and 0 with 22 knockouts yeah. when I was at your level. Yeah, that's, okay? that's fine. That's so, fine. I'm still knocking it is people what it out. Is, baby. You haven't knocked you, anyone out in, your, in a they, decade. They pick, they pick the right fights. They picked the right fight mate. for you, mate. Mate, mate. they given you the right fight, mate. mate. Up to this date, up to this they date, gave mate, me a birthday right present. They, they said called, it on a plate. They called me and said, "Hey, Thurman." I'm like, "Man, what a birthday present that is! This is Christmas birthday all in one." All in one, baby. All in, all in one. one. Then let's, then let's, then let's just have some fun, baby. You know let's what I'm see. saying? <laughs> let's have some fun. I'm the one that's going to be different. having the fun. Been different. Been different. You'll see, man. You'll see. Tim, what am I going to say? Is. Tim, we, huh? it is we, what it is. Tim, you, you and I, we did a we did an interview not too long ago, and I was asking you about cutting off the ring and things of that nature. Something you know we both feel you have to do against Keith Thurman. Anybody that's we got thousand eighty six on here right now. What can you say to them? Anybody on here that believes that you don't have enough experience for Keith Thurman? Nah, man, this that's all rubbish. I'm just, look, I if he's gonna be running or if he's gonna come at me, whatever it is, man. I've, 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 it's not about experience in this fight. This is this is uh, skill versus skill. I respect Thurman's skills. You know, I, I I respect what he's done in his in his career. But for me, man, honestly, this is just a uh, a passing of the the torch. That's all it is. No disrespect, but uh, one time to last time. Under undefeated fighter, that's how it's supposed to be. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. I get it. Yo, I get it. He just pl he just played with your name though. One one time for the last time. Nah, you know they do they do the they, truth, do, they do once the upon a time they do once upon a time they do some time. Look, man, you know everyone I fought with. You know when they get out of the ring, they respect Keith Thurman's power. So I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about that. You know what I'm saying? I know that my punches are felt. I know I land my punches, you know. And he's talking about knocking me out, man. You didn't knock out Mendoza, okay? Bro, he uh, Mendoza's, uh, Mendoza knocked the fuck out of a, a unified world champion with one punch. You can't disrespect yeah, well, Mendoza. He's, he was, a, he he's was, one hell of a he fighter. Was, he was brother. just backing up. He was just moving against you. You was hitting him. In the later rounds, you was get, getting him. You was hitting him. Because boom, once, boom. Once I, hit him, once I hit him, he knew. And when I hit you the first time, you're going to be like, oh, man, I'm going to feel like Mendoza as well. Mendoza was on his feet easily, taking them shots clean, baby. 
I oh, question, we'll you know, I think, yeah, you're, oh, I think you're a puncher, but there's different types of punchers. You know what I mean? I do, I do recognize that you're a puncher, right? But when I fought Pacquiao, I knew Pacquiao could knock me down. He's not going to knock me out, you know? So you just claim you're going to knock me out, man. I will. But you didn't knock out. I will. Those. Mendoza was just slightly moving. He didn't even have the ring IQ that I'm going to bring to you, kid. Okay? Brother. So it is what it is. You know? I will. I will. You, I will. You, what, what'd, words, you man. what'd you tell me in person? Please don't move. Please just stand there for Stand there. I, so said, I, I said to you in person, I said, you're going to you're gonna squeal. That's what I'm going to say. That's what uh, I said. You're going to be a squealer. Go, please don't go nowhere. Squealer. Don't don't go nowhere so I can just He said this real quick. What are you talking quick. about, man? What's this on about, bro? Most, most people that train with Key, they were always concerned about his power. I, I'm going to speak personally, I wasn't concerned with his power. I understood is you got to go to the fire and you got to you got to weather whatever storms come. Do, do you have any concern for the power of one time, Tim? Of course, of course man, he's a fighter. Of course, I'm going to have a bit of concern, but that, that it doesn't bother me, man. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk straight through him. And if he wants to come at me, then let's meet in the center of the ring and slug it out. Mexican slug style. Flat footed Mexican style, as you Flat say. Flat footed. Flat footed, slug it out. You trying to meet him in the Flat-footed. That's uh, that's what I am, huh? Yeah. I, mean, I can do whatever I want to do, baby. I got free will. I got free will. I got free will. I can do whatever I want to do, baby. <laughs> What's that? You trying to meet him in the center of the ring? I'm good. Look, we can get the first two rounds. Come bring to daddy. Come bring to daddy. it. Let's just go. I'll run right at him. I'll run <laughs> yeah. right at him like Let's I did in the it. Let's do it. I'll run right at him. Watch the Robert Guerrero fight. Round one, I ran right at him. I'll run right at Robert you. Robert Guerrero. Fuck right at man, you. Robert Guerrero. Come on, bro. All right. No, I know, I know, <laughs> I know. I know, I know Robert yeah, Guerrero man. ain't nothing, you know. I mean, that was that fight was won before the contract was signed, baby. I know that, you know. But at the end <laughs> of the day, I ran right at him. So I'm making, I'm making a reference. I'm making a past reference into the current moment that I'll give you what you want for six rounds. Uh, for them two rounds, I'm, I'm supposed to be done after two. I'm supposed to be done after two, so boom, bada bing, bada boom, you know. Back Tim, Tim, bang, 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 as you said, your head bouncing off the head canvas. Yeah, <laughs> that never happened before, never will. Tim, will. listen, you it you will. know, Tim, that you don't have the same reputation here as you do in Australia. Do you feel like knocking out Keith Thurman is what you have to do in order to win the fight? Ah. Uh. Oh man, I'm, I've always come, always come for the KOs, you know. So whatever it is. Damn, Keith, he coming for your head. Oh, yeah, you know, 100%. um, you know, uh, and he looked comfortable too. Yeah, he's comfortable. He's very, he's very calm. Tim Zoo is a very calm fighter. You know, he 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 likes to he likes to paw with that jab. And club you with his right hand, you know. He's, he's he's a clubber, you know. He's a clubber. That's apparently, you know. I don't know how much he's trying to hit the clubs in Vegas, but he's a clubber <laughs> in the ring, okay. So at the end of the day, you know, I'm I'm being I gotta prepare for that, you know. He he's got a little, you know. I don't want to underestimate his his other punches of his of his reservoir, but I would say. As a right-handed fighter, he's most right-handed fighters are right side dominant. But Tim Zhu exerts that, you know. When uh, when he was when he went to stop Tony Harrison, uh, night nice stoppage by the way. When he went and stopped Tony Harrison, right? <laughs> I mean, I mean that was different, right? I mean that was one, that was two, that was three, four, like five uppercuts, bro. That was different, right? That was different. Yeah. But he was he was there. He was taking punishment, right? You know, Sean, I've made things in the past, right? If I got to take a knee, if I got to do certain things to survive, I'm just so different in the ring. I want more time. I will draw it out. I want, I want to be in the fight. I want to stay in the fight. I'm not going to be up on the ropes and then just stuck up. I, I don't get stuck up. You know what uh, I mean? I like, I'm very I like the way you talk about survival. Fluid. It's good. It's good. 
yeah, it's survival, you know? It's all, there's always, you're always in there. You're always in there. Whether you're close or you're trying to do it from the outside, you know? I do, I do uh, recognize that Zoo, even though he doesn't have a significant height uh, difference, his overall frame, he will have a reach advantage, right? But we're going to see, you know, there's not a lot, but, you know, to get out a little sparring clips or whatever. But I've seen this man get pushed back by smaller guys. You know, I've seen this man just be in there with slick people and they're able to move tactically and survive, right? But my, my, my capacity of counterpunching, my capacity of combination choosing, okay? That means I'm just, I'm just going to bring a lot of challenges into the ring, my man. It's just a little, it's a little different. You're going you're gonna to see that Keith Thurman, there's a reason why Keith Thurman was able to become a unified champion. You know, there's a reason why Keith Thurman's name was number one at a time and place. And I'm trying, you're trying to make a name off of my name. I'm just trying to help boxing fans remember who Keith one time Thurman is when I'm done with Keith. him, Zoo. Somebody, somebody, <laughs> somebody commented and said you, you're preparing to survive in this fight. Are you preparing? They, That's somebody exactly said, what he just said for the last 10 minutes when he blabbered on. He just said, I know how to survive. He's going on about survival tactics. That's if, that's if you're rocked. That's if you're wobbled. See, what people when, don't understand when, is that, when. There's, that there's, you know, I'm a scientist, right? I understand field theory, quantum physics, probabilities, okay? So when you talk about, you said it yourself, Tim, that you're going to walk right at me. But you also said, yeah, Thurman could, Thurman could do it. You said, oh, maybe, maybe Thurman could, but I'm not scared, okay? So just knowing the danger that boxing is, because we're, we're gladiators. This is, the, this is the alpha and omega of the original com, uh, combat sport, okay? We haven't changed the rules in, in so many years. All these other sports, they throw out flags, flag, ah, ah, you know? Time out, you know? We, we don't get that, baby. You know what I'm saying? We understand. We understand the grind. Hey, Keith, let me ask Tim. Tim, somebody just said you, you got knocked down by, by Terrell Gosher. What do you think he going to do with Keith Thurman? I got up straight away, man. It was just a little flash thing, you know? No, nothing happened. I was never hurt. Keith, survival Keith, again. Right? About, I, ain't, I ain't here talking about survival and what I'm going to do and this. I'm talking about I'm saying winning. the way you got Tony Harrison, the way them five uppercuts will never see me, kid. See, y'all don't y'all don't even understand what's called a reference point. Man, look, most people don't know shit about boxing. I guess that means you too, Zoo. I guess that means you too, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're, you're a I'm funny a man, I'm brother. A you're, a for, you're a funny I'm man. A Mama said knock him out. No, bro, I'm no going to knock about him boxing. out. Boxing, yeah, brother. I said bo no. boxing, baby. Boxing, that's the sweet science. That's the sweet science. Man, okay? my, my last fights, I haven't been hit, man. I walked in, I walked out fresh. What are you talking about? That's what I'm saying. They they, they picked some nice fights for you. Peaks. Them dudes ain't hungry like me, bro. They're not hungry, Hungry? Bro. You've been on a hungry, fucking bro. vacation for five years hungry. What are you talking about, that's man? What makes you hungry? It's called a hungry. fast. You ever you ever done a five day fast? Come on now. Come <laughs> yeah, on I now. have actually, and it's definitely not the same mindset that you're in right now. That's for sure. Man, ultimately, what people don't understand about boxing and about Keith Thurman is my true love for the sport. Am I satisfied with what's happened to my career in the past several years? No. Can I take it back? No. So what can I do? I can punch you. That's all I can do, Zoo. And, and all I can do is you get back you. That much harder. I've been here. You're gonna regret here, everything I've you been said. here meditating. I've been here meditating and waiting, <laughs> and now I finally got the phone call. They gave me something to do. They said, "Hey, Thurman, do you want to punch Tim Zoo? Come on, man. And what happened? You took three days. 
Two. Three days to study Two. some tape. Two. When they told me Keith Thurman, Man. Man. The, the, for five seconds, Sean, I you said ready yes. For this? Give you me ready for, for this? breakfast. You ready for this, Sean? Me... Tim, I didn't know who you <laughs> was, kid. I didn't know who you was. Good, good. I didn't know who you was. Beautiful. I saw the Beautiful, flat brother. For the, for the guy that loves I can the sport smell that of boxing, who's, who, I who the loves flat feet. everything I can about that boxing, who gonna... doesn't know shit uh, about boxing, clearly. Uh, uh, what, are you, what are you doing? What are you I moaning there life, for? Baby. I live it. And just, it is what it is. Just, just, you know, I've seen what like I need to see in two days. What are you I've seen what about I needed to see in two days. That's uh? it. I seen what I needed to see in two days, kid. And I and I, I like your record. I didn't see anything. Yes, straight away. Straight away. Straight away. Come do it. Six minutes. Oh, I will. Two rounds. I will. I Two will. rounds. I will. No one's ever done what you're proclaiming, kid. I'll be very I impressed. I don't. I you will. know. Look, I'm the fighter in the industry. I said I got to O. I'm not afraid to let it go. If you can beat me, beat me. If Beautiful. you can beat me, beat me. Back, Beautiful, run man. It. What am I here for? Two rounds. Put what me on the floor. For? You're not, you know, it's, 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 it's never happened. It's never happened before, kid. You're a dreamer. I'm a dreamer, too. I love it. You're a dreamer, kid. You got big dreams. You got big admirations, bro. That's what boxing's all about, baby. That's what it's all about. It really is, man. I'm, I'm grateful. <laughs> I'm grateful that you have that type of determination. Listen, because listen. This beautiful. Because it really it makes this a real good fight. I love this guy, fight. man. This guy's hilarious. It makes it a real good <laughs> fight. That's what I'm telling you, man. You know, yeah. this ain't new. This ain't, you, you're bred in this. I'm bred in this, baby. This ain't nothing new. You know? I don't got... I, well, I'm not ever going to just fight you in the streets. Last time you did this was five years ago. I would never just fight you in the streets. I would never just fight you in the streets, kid. But we signed these contracts. Not. Like, we got jobs like to that, do. Man. We got an obligation. We're putting our pride and reputations on the line. You it's, say it it's, yourself, it's love, brother. You say it's real. yourself. It's real. Listen, let's check it out. Listen, 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 listen. Uh, I think we both, we all three of us, we did what we needed to do tonight. We're a little bit over the time, so I want to let everybody go. But hey, Tim, thanks for yeah. just jumping up in here. I ain't know no, you had man, that. So I saw Keith was online. I wanted to hear what he said. So, uh, look after yourselves, boys. Yes, sir. Appreciate you for jumping. Keep training, keep training hard, I, Keithy. See, I'm going to do my best, baby. I'm going to do my best. I want to make my mommy and my daddy very proud. I want to make my mommy and my daddy very proud. <laughs> you fucking flop. All right. Y'all both keep training hard. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Thanks. See ya.